Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick q and I'm going to be answering six questions that I did on my Instagram story. I haven't been able to answer all of the questions and some of them were quite similar, so I'm just going to address some of the questions here today. So the first question I had was, why do I not buy my own properties? And to be honest, I, there's several different reasons to why I do not buy my own properties. One, I don't have the time to go and spend doing direct to vendor marketing. I don't have the time to go speak to estate agents all the time. And the timing wise and of going to see properties, I can't really do until a Saturday. And even then it really depends on my schedule and what I'm focusing on as well. Yes, I don't get the best deals working with property sources, but essentially I save so much time and potentially could get better deals than what I could do on my own right now. Secondly is I don't have a power team and then I would also so you need to go and find the valuable resources to go and find a power team and thirdly location all of my properties are outside of london so it just makes sense for me to work with someone outside of london it will save me time i don't have the capacity to go every single weekend every single saturday to go and view properties especially going to the north where it's a four hour drive one way it does get a little bit much and the one thing that i definitely don't want to do is sacrifice my whole entire life that i don't ever spend time with my family and do the things that i love with people that i love and especially spending time with my boyfriend as well so hence why it just makes sense for me i'm not telling you guys you need to do this as well but just for my business this is what works for me the second question is how much capital do you need to invest and this literally varies between different strategies location what type of um, property you're going for and it really really does vary hmos and flips do cost a little bit more because of the refurb side that you're doing depending on the flip as well but and the hmos that you're doing but a little bit more money especially if you invest in london that's going to be more money than comparing up to the north if you're doing purchase lease options or rent to rent or deal sourcing then they're, they're less money required but it really depends but always kind of take an estimate of 25 percent um deposit and then an extra 10 to fifteen thousand with all your fees and everything like that that you're going to be paying yes that it is a little bit much but obviously stamp duty depending on where you are and things like that they do add up and it's always good to have a contingency and over budget on that front. The third question is how I manage my time. And funny enough, before even posting this onto my Instagram story, I just did a YouTube video on about how I manage my time and how it can potentially help you as well. So please go and check that video out if it is of interest to you. But essentially scheduling time is so important for me to manage so many different things and especially scheduling in me time if I could teach anyone anything regardless of what business you are in or if you don't have a business is to schedule in you time whether you're relaxing reading laying down sleeping taking a nap or anything like that just scheduling me time I like to go for a walk or just lay down on my bed or listen to something or even listen to music just where I'm just switching off and not doing anything in that time the fourth question is what keeps me motivated and there's so many different things that keep me motivated and it changes on a daily basis hence why I think focusing on your goals and not motivation really does mean something and knowing that you have disciplines and there's a famous crow um I don't know at the top of my head but I'll, I'll post a picture of it um of about how motivation runs out but you need to have disciplines and then another second favorite quote is you either have one of two regrets the pain of discipline or the pain of regret so the fifth question is what am i working on next so we are currently buying a buy to let hopefully we complete soon um yes we're working on a buy to let at the moment it's a little bit smaller than what we're used to but this one is pretty much instant cash flow and just something that will help us um with our property portfolio and the income coming in as hmos do take a very long time compared to buy to lets to refurb hence why we've just changed a little bit of strategy at the moment the last question is if there was any one piece of advice that i can give to anyone what would it be and that is to one manage your time and expectations be realistic with managing your expectations and secondly i bang on about this but your network is so important of who you connect with who you meet and that not, doesn't necessarily mean your friends and telling them what you're doing but meeting people in the property world or the business world that you can relate to that are a little bit ahead of you or a lot of ahead of not a lot of head of you doesn't even make sense or who are further ahead of you um and it really really does make a difference since i've transitioned into kind of 
speaking to more property people and more business people it has just been a game changer and i can't even describe it but just so many game changers understanding the mindset um understanding locations and things like that really does help i really hope you enjoyed this video i like doing these q a so if you do have any questions please put them in the comment section and i'll be doing another q a next month take care guys have a great rest of the week